हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज दिनेश एंड यू आर लिसनिंग टू माई पॉडकास्ट द स्टोरी इज वी हर्ड इन दिस पॉडकास्ट आई टॉक अबाउट वेरियस स्टोरीज फ्रॉम अवर एपिक्स लाइक रामायण लाइक महाभारत और द स्टोरीज फ्रॉम अवर पुरानाज दीज आर द स्टोरीज दैट यू मे हैव हर्ड एज अ चाइल्ड दीज स्टोरीज मे हैव बीन टोल्ड टू यू एज अ चिल्ड्रन बट वी डोंट रियली सी देम एज गाइडिंग लाइट टू इन आवर फ्यूचर इन दिस एपिसोड इन दिस पॉडकास्ट I talk about the relevance of these stories in today's times in today's corporate world as well as social world. This morning when I was on my way to my son's school to drop him off in the school there was a large bird flying in the sky. Looking at that bird my son immediately shouted look dad garuda is flying and that got me thinking. I was thinking about garuda vishnu's vahan. You know the word vahan comes from sanskrit verb vah which means to carry. But what exactly were these vahanas carrying? Were they carrying deity on their back like a transporter of the deity or were they carrying the thoughts or the learnings of the deity like a messenger? Something to think about. The story that I am going to narrate today is from Adi Parva or the first part of Mahabharat. The story is called as Amrut Kalash Apaharanam. The story involves Garud who is the son of Vinata. Vinata is the sister of Kadru and daughter of Daksha. In some other epics she is also termed as the great granddaughter of Daksha. So Vinata and Kadru both sisters were married to Kashyap Rishi. When Kashyap was living with Vinata and Kadru he was very happy with the services offered by both. So he granted them a boon. Kadru was the first to ask for boon and she asked for 1000 nagas who will be very powerful. After Kadru It was Vinata's turn to ask for the boon. Vinata asked for only two sons, but she said these two should be more powerful than Kadru's thousand sons. Kashyap granted them boon, and then he left for forest, leaving these two alone. After a few days, Kadru and Vinata both laid eggs. From the eggs laid by Kadru, thousand nagas were born, but Vinata's eggs were not hatched. Vinata was getting very impatient, so after a few days. She broke open one of the egg and from it came an half developed person named Arun. Arun was very angry because Vinata had broken the egg very early. So he gave a curse to Vinata saying she will be enslaved by Kadru. When Vinata asked for forgiveness, Arun forgave her and said that the second son born from you will free you from this slavery. After many years of waiting, the second egg hatched and from it was born an eagle bird that is called as Garud. When Garud was born, he realized that his mother Vinata is an slave of Kadru and he wanted to free her so he went to Kadru and asked her what he can do to free his mother from the slavery Kadru said i will free your mother but in return i want amrut i want amrut for all my thousand nag children garud agreed and then he flew towards the sky to bring amrut when garud reached swargalok and he fought with all the deities there he fought with all the warriors there and after fight he picked up the jar that contained amrut and he flew towards the earth to give this amrut to the thousand nagas while on his way he was carrying the pot of amrut in his beak but even after being so close to amrut even after having amrut in his beak he did not drink a single drop of amrut vishnu was watching all this from distance he was looking at the way garud was carrying the amrut and was not even drinking a single drop of it When Vishnu appeared in front of Garud and asked, "Why are you not drinking Amrut? You know it will make you immortal." On this, Garud said, "Idam namama. This is not mine. I am just carrying it for the Nagas. I only want my mother to be free. I don't want anything else. I don't want immortality. I don't want the power. I don't want the strength of the world. I only want my mother to be free." Listening to this, Vishnu was very happy. Vishnu asked Garuda to become his vahan. Vishnu said Garud I am impressed by your honesty I am impressed by your morality and I want you to be with me Garud agreed to this and since that day Garud has become Vishnu's vahan or Vishnu's carrier or transport as we say and from that day Garud become Vishnu's vahan In today's age we do not see this honesty in today's corporate world or in today's social world or in today's politics we do not see this attitude of idam namama this is not mine we don't listen anyone saying this we don't hear anyone saying this we don't see anybody following this and that is why this story is very relevant in today's day when you are working in a corporate world when you are working in a social organization 
you have access to many resources you have access to many contacts you have access to many things but you have to remember the story of garud the way garud was carrying amrut in his beak but did not drink a single drop of it we have to remember this while working in social organizations or while working in corporate world we have to remember the phrase idam namama because that is what makes your character by the way do you know garud also features in shaiva text like garud tantra or kiran tantra also in shiva temples garud is often found as a metaphor for atman the way our mind keeps wandering all over the world the way our mind is very powerful similarly garud also wanders all over the world with all his strength and power until and unless we control our mind just like garud it will bring no positive results i hope i gave you something to think about from this podcast please provide me your feedback about this podcast please follow me on instagram the handle is indian.temples we also have a youtube page with the same handle name please subscribe to our channel on youtube as well friends if you like this podcast don't forget to rate it and share it with your friends we will be back with another story soon till then adios namaskar bye bye